everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel, Life Giving Conversations with Tobega Lamini. Uh, please do subscribe, uh, hit the like button. Also, please do share this broadcast with your friends, family, colleagues, uh, whoever you think might need this broadcast. Today, I'm very excited. We are sort of touching on a topic that is affecting those that have not made the decision yet so we are not here to condemn those that are already married uh, but we are here to you know to conscientize and to empower those that are not yet married with some knowledge uh, on how to go about making uh, one of the most decision uh, important decisions they might ever make in their lives and so um, I do want to highlight uh, a few pointers for you on this broadcast to say that uh, if you do decide to get married please let it not be under these following conditions so today my topic is I have five foundations you should never build a marriage on five foundations you should never build a marriage on okay point number one is um, never make a decision to marry somebody based on people's opinions. I know this happens a lot, uh, especially in the body of Christ, even outside of the body of Christ, you find that there are aunties or parents that are sort of pushing you a certain direction uh, because maybe that person uh, was raised by somebody that they know or that person, you know, they are from a well-off family or they are doing well for themselves. And this is something, this is something that used to be practiced long time ago in our culture you know myself being zulu sometimes you'll find that parents have an agreement that um you know it would be nice if our kids intermarry and they will indirectly sort of uh, do your arranged marriages indirectly and you know i i really believe that the marriage that you know you you, you a marital decision that you base on people's opinions becomes shaky ground because once you are staying with the person once you are getting to know with the, to know the person instead of owning your decision to be with that person uh, no matter what you start to shift blame and say oh by the way uh, it was not my decision uh, people influenced my decision and so i took the decision i took the decision because uh, indirectly people said you must go this direction this happens a lot in, in even in congregations even amongst friends that you find that people are pushing you a certain direction to marry somebody very very shaky grounds to base uh, a marital uh, decision on because when the storms of life come, they come to test the foundation. And you have to know that every marriage that is, you know, that exists has at some point gone through a storm. You know, it might be different storms, but it has gone through a storm. And when the storms hit, the foundation needs to be stable for the house to stand. And so basing a lifetime decision on people's opinions can be very risky business when it comes to marriage or when it comes um, you know to settling down uh, with somebody okay then point number two do not marry somebody who has a different value system or belief system from you you know, we, 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 we always conscientize, you know, those that, that come after us, those that are our peers that haven't taken the decision yet to say, you know, marriage is challenging enough with somebody who has the same <laughs> beliefs as you and has the same values as you, you still going to clash. You know, you're still going to not see eye to eye when it comes to certain things. And so, People never understand because they are clouded by emotions, clouded by feelings, they are attracted to that person. So sometimes people may never really comprehend that having a different belief system with somebody uh, can really, really affect your relationship big time. This is a very shaky foundation to build on because all of us make decisions according to our value system. All of us move forward in this life. We face crises using our belief system to maneuver through life and so if you now find yourself in a relationship where you you are together you are married and you are facing a storm 
one of you wants to pray one of you wants to go and do something that is completely different from what, what the other one believes in they can be clashes because you are now truly you're now pulling in two different directions and you are not pulling uh, in the same direction one one wise author once said um you can argue with somebody on you know who you are traveling with to Nelspreet or to Durban you can argue on what to eat on the way you can argue on where to stop to refill but you cannot argue on the destination and this is where most marriages are going wrong you find that it's two people who are in completely two different scopes of life and who make decisions you know in, in in you know with value systems that are completely different and it becomes a problem even when you have to raise kids because whose system are you going to really use in raising kids and in growing kids because uh, god's intention for marriage was that also within the marital union we we raise kids that will fear him we raise kids that will will you know will be balanced in all areas of life and so this is one foundation that you should never build on and that is to marry somebody um who has a different value system or belief system from you you are really asking for trouble in the long run in your marriage okay point number three never marry on this foundation never marry out of convenience i remember a very sad story of a lady you know i met when i was a teenager and this lady told me something very interesting she said i grew up struggling emotionally i was emotionally abused in my family i grew up struggling so the one thing that was in my mind was that when will i leave this family when will i you know be free from this pain and so at the first sign of a guy that came and said i love you i want to marry you this lady took a decision to follow this guy very handsome guy uh, he was only to find that the marital union was going to be full of more emotional abuse and she never rested all her life and she actually passed on um you know in her early 50s you know and and due to a stroke because she tried to run away from the inconvenience of her background only to find her, that she's tying herself down to a man that would abuse her all her life and 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 that is what happened and that is how you know her life ended prematurely because of continuous stress and continuous frustration so never marry for convenience never marry for convenience never marry a guy because he is well off you know because you need more than money to make a relationship work you need more than prestige to make a relationship work there are people that got married for money and that are left alone in mansions you know lonely whilst the, the husbands are out there nowhere to be found and there are also some men that married women you know that felt they they could be secure with and and it was not out of love it was not out of commitment but it was out of convenience and when storms do hit those marriages they do not stand because the very foundations of those marriages are very very tricky okay then point number four this one is going to be slightly controversial because we all believe in family we all believe that every child that is born you know should have the privilege of being raised by a father and a mother you know and usually even within the church within the body of christ when people you know you know fall into sin or someone falls pregnant whatever the case is we usually want to say no just fix things by getting married and i always have to ask somebody who wants to commit somebody when a pregnancy that was unplanned is you know has taken place and i always ask this one question do you love this person do you have the same value system with them do you see yourself in your vision or in your purpose for life do you see it fitting with this person because sometimes people want to rectify things and say you know i never imagined having a child out of wedlock so just because this one has now impregnated me i think we should just get married and you know and settle down and sometimes you find that this decision backfires because as i 
might have highlighted earlier that sometimes it does happen that people have sexual relations but there is really no love and no intimacy there and no intent and so a child that is born under those circumstances you find that now the parents are like okay we might as well just get married because a child is already involved and they use the child as a foundation to build a marriage a child that will one day leave them and go to varsity and leave them in an empty loveless a marriage leave them in in a, in a in a cold house that has no love because the the initial intent was not to settle down but people were passing time people were testing the waters and so a child came into being every child i believe is a gift from god i do not believe that once a child comes they are a mistake but i do believe that if parents make a decision to settle down they should be completely sure that they love each other because without love you cannot cover over a multitude of sins without love you cannot sustain without love you cannot conquer the storms of marriage and so it's very very important never to use this as grounds to make a marital decision because this is a decision that's going to affect the rest of your life and you don't want to be in a marriage with somebody that feels like they are obligated to be there the person must want to be there it must be their desire to be with you so that when your marriage is when your marriage can hit a uh, you know a rock or or a wall at least you know you've got each other you did not make a decision you know out of obligation point number five as i close never marry somebody that you were unfaithful with never marry somebody that you were committing adultery with or you stole them from a friend or a fiance or whatever the case may be those foundations are very 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 shaky there are people that you know see other people as happy then they decide oh by the way i'm in love with so and so's fiance or so and so's boyfriend or so and so's husband and they make advances to take those people away from they, they they advertise something that is different from what they are experiencing and sometimes you find that a person might not be wise enough to discern and they end up you know dumping this other person for you it has happened a lot you know it's not something that is not happening every day around us where people are moving into people's marriages and people's relationships and you know sort of advertising something that looks better you know that outshines the current partner and you know in in foolishness people have taken decisions to leave their current partners for somebody else and you find that in the process they were unfaithful you know there was infidelity involved you know though everything looks glorious and people are happy now they want to build on that on that foundation never build your house on somebody's tears and never build a house on somebody else's tears because that is shaky ground by the way the human nature says in the long run when you are used to each other when the the you know the the cloud nine feelings have faded you know now in your mind in your logic you are saying to yourself if somebody was willing to be unfaithful with me whilst i had a spouse whilst i had a partner what would stop them from being unfaithful to me at this point so you are on shaky grounds because you cannot trust each other and you are looking over your shoulder to see who will betray each other first and you are not secure because you yourselves destroyed other people you were unfaithful to other people so that you could be together very very shaky foundations and people love to build on this foundation i've come across a lot of people that build relationships on this foundation those relationships nev never work because the initial foundation was cracky and as i close as i close the foundation is the most important thing you will find in a house and those that you know did architect and, and you know and 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 you know specialized studies and buildings know that you know a lot of time is spent on the foundation especially when you are building something solid when you are building a significant structure so much time is spent focusing on the foundation building it because the foundation has to hold up the rest of the house 
hold up the rest of the structure and so be very careful at the foundational phases on how you are making the decision to settle down because that would determine uh, your survival span within your marriage and that would determine whether you do outlive certain storms in your marriage you see a lot of relationships that look glorious from the outside they look good from the outside it looks like everything is going well until there's a crack and that crack from the foundation goes up the walls and sooner or later when a storm comes everything crumbles down because the foundation was not secure enough the foundation was not strong enough so i'm urging all of you that still have the opportunity to decide you know on who to settle down with never to build on this five foundations it will shorten the lifespan of your marriage it will affect uh, you know the joy in your marriage please be cautious when you are taking this lifetime commitment and and you and taking a journey with somebody for the rest of your life that you take these precautionary me me precautionary measures that you are intentional about you know how you go about taking that decision so that you can weather the storms that are going to come your way in the near future because storms will come but now it matters how the foundation is and it matters how strong you know the the, the bond is this is not a marriage out of convenience this is not a marriage that has two separate sets of um beliefs this is not a marriage that is built on people's opinions this is not a marriage of convenience because now a child is in place now we have to, we are obliged to be together this is not a marriage for convenience because there's money and comfort and this is not a marriage where somebody's heart was broken so that we could build and so i do hope this this bit of information does help somebody out there and does really prevent someone from building on shaky foundations. Until next time, this is Tobega Lamini, Life Giving Conversations with Tobega Lamini. I'm looking forward to more interaction with you. Please do subscribe, please do share, please do like our broadcast. Until next time.